All right, let's go to the panelists and start the questions. Mr. Walsh. Uh, yes, uh, this is a question for both candidates, starting with Congressman Hurt. Uh, money has had perhaps more influence in these elections uh, than any time in our history. Would you support legislation that would both pass constitutional muster and put limits on the ways money is raised and spent during the election season? Well, as you know, Bill, uh, you know, there, there are uh, tremendous limits on the amount of money that can be raised, from whom it can be raised, and so forth and so on. I can just tell you this, that obviously participation in elections is very, very important. Uh, I think that it's important that uh, as many people participate in, in elections as possible, and frankly, uh, it, it is very difficult for me to see uh, constitutional limits on putting constitutional limits on the ability of people to participate in these elections. It's not always pretty. I would agree. Uh, I mean, I think if you look at our race, uh, in, 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 for instance, I mean, certainly, that you know, I cannot believe some of the things uh, that my opponent has, has said about me in the course of this campaign. I don't like it, but you know what? He's got a right to, in this country to say what he, he wants to say, and he'll have to live with it. That's the bottom line. But I, I support transparency. Uh, I think that, uh, that, uh, that, that, that fundraising limits in, in, in this case, you know, we, we, have, we don't have them in Virginia, but we have full transparency. I've always liked that, uh, that, that system. Um, you know, I'm always open to looking at ways to, to make sure that there's more transparency in our system, but I, I don't see that I can support uh, a, uh, a system in which you limit people's ability to, uh, to participate in the political process. Uh, I think if you, if, if you look uh, at the attacks, the false attacks that my opponent has made over the last four months, just unbelievable attacks against me and my family, I think that you will see that you will find at the end of the day, the American people, people of 5th District, are smarter than he thinks they are. They, 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 they won't go for that. Well, this is Mary. This is Mary where we have a clear, clear difference. I, I do uh, I believe we need uh, campaign finance reform. I think we need it badly. I think these uh, super PACs that are pouring millions and billions of dollars from undisclosed uh, donors are, uh, are a travesty on our democracy. We're drifting away from a democracy towards an oligarchy. And I think it's a really, really bad thing for the 5th District, and it's a bad thing for Virginia, and it's a bad thing for our country for us to be in a situation where millionaires and billionaires can throw enough money into these uh, campaigns to wash out the votes of the common people. So I'm going to be a very, very strong advocate for campaign finance reform. That will be the first caucus I join probably when I uh, am elected to Congress. And, uh, you know, folks, if we could take the money out of this politics. If we took the money out of it, and it was just two people up here telling you about their ideas, telling you what their vision for the future was, and, and uh, you didn't have all those dead gum TV ads, and you didn't have these nasty flyers, do you think that would make us a better country? I do. So I'll be strongly for campaign finance reform. Excuse me, thank you. Uh, 